Today, I'm gonna to walk you through three of the mistakes that you're making on the heavy bag when you're hitting it with your right hand or your rear hand and how to correct them. So the very first thing that I see with beginners and even some people that are more experienced with boxing or just doing it for fitness is that when they hit, they tend to hit with this portion of their hand as opposed to the knuckles. And so as they hit, they punch upwards or they land with their hand like this and then they turn the punch over. And so a way to correct that is you need a heavy bag, but you need to be cognizant of the fact that you don't need to hit the heavy bag super hard or with a lot of power when you're just hitting it with your bare fist. And when you learn to hit with your bare fist, it's gonna have a lot more carryover to when you're hitting with your gloves on. So the very first thing you need to do is just get in your boxing stance and extend your hand. And for me, naturally, my hand wants to go down and my knuckles want to connect with the bag. But most people, when they try and hit, they hit with this portion of their hand, which is not a good thing to do. And when you do hit with this portion of your hand, what happens is that there's no force behind the punch and injury can happen. So, simple thing that you can do is just put your hand out, all right, and then make sure that your wrist isn't up, your wrist isn't down like this, your wrist isn't cockeyed to the side, or anything like this. You wanna have your wrist straight or slightly down so that when you do contact the bag or make contact with the bag, you're not putting undue stress on your wrist joint or your hands when you're punching the bag. So you just wanna think of touching the bag right now and you wanna make contact with the bag with your knuckles. Not with this portion of your hand, but with your knuckles. So as you make contact with the bag, just take a step forward, hold the bag with your knuckles. Now, take your other hand, hold the bag back, and then try and get back to that same position when you're punching. Here, you're not even trying to make hard contact with the bag. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that when you're shooting your punch, that your knuckles are hitting first, not this portion of your hand. And that when you're hitting with your knuckles, you're not going off to the side like this, because often people will hit with their knuckle and they'll do this. So they'll put everything on their index finger instead of spreading it across their fist. Or they'll, they'll even do this. They'll go inwards and then they'll hit with their pinky finger. So as you want to touch the bag, you just want to make sure that you're lining up and you're hitting with your knuckles flush and you're not going off to the side or you're not punching up and hitting with this portion of your hand. So just hold your hand here, come back lightly, make contact with the bag. Lightly, bam. Come back, come back. You're barely touching the bag, but what you're doing is you're touching the bag with your knuckles and not the other portion of the hand. So the second thing that I see with people when they start hitting the heavy bag is they do not extend the punch or punch through the bag. And so what they'll do is they'll try and do this. All right, they'll hit the bag and they'll go. They'll hit with their knuckles, but what they're doing is they're going like this. And so there's no power behind that punch. And in some instances, you may just want to snap the bag. But what most people are doing is when they're doing this, they relax their hand. So as their hand comes and hits the bag, it's not fully tight, it's not gripped to the glove and then they basically snap the bag like this and what will happen over time is as they keep doing this with the glove on eventually they'll put undue stress on their wrist or even on their fingers because if the bag comes back and you hit it the wrong way or you time it the wrong way you'll damage your wrist or your fingers or even your entire hand. So a way to avoid this is that it's great to hit fast but make sure that when you're hitting fast, you're turning over your punch, you'll see that everything is straight here and I'm not opening my hand. Because a lot of times people will start with their hand relaxed and that's fine. But by the time they get to the bag, they've never closed their hand or clenched their fist. And so as they go to hit the bag, their hand is completely open and they're snapping their punch like this. And if the bag comes back, that's how you damage your hand. So, to alleviate that, all you want to do is you can still punch fast. 
And you see, I'm not trying to hit hard. I'm just trying to make sure that my knuckles are hitting that bag. All right, so the third and final thing that I see that people make a giant mistake with when they're hitting the heavy bag is they don't connect with the bag when they're hitting. And so what I mean by that is it's kind of like the second thing, but what happens is that they kind of like touch the bag. They like touch the bag or they're like this. And the bag doesn't even move. So there's no real point of hitting the bag if the bag's not moving. You're like going like this. All right? And so no carryover into the ring, no carryover into really anything when you're hitting the bag and you're not punching through the bag or punching at the bag. And so a way to alleviate this problem is basically Stand in one position, you can get close to the bag. And since I don't have a glove on, and this is a way to make sure that you actually connect with the bag. You can get close to the bag, and so what you want to think of doing is you want to punch the bag, make sure that you're getting full extent on your punch. Alright? Do it very slowly. Make sure that your fist is, is clenched really well when you're trying to hit the bag because if it's not, you will damage your hand. So that's why you want to make sure that the bag that you're, not, you're hitting is, has some give to it and it's not rock hard. So hit, bag moves. You'll see that makes contact with the bag, the bag goes through. Now what you can also do is as you're doing that, step into the bag and you'll see that my arms didn't extend all the way and that's fine because you have to understand that when you're hitting the bag sometimes you're going to be close to the bag sometimes you're going to be far from the bag and you have to know how to gauge that distance but you also have to know that you need to punch at the bag through the bag and into the bag most of the time so that your power transfers from your body to your hand to the bag which in essence will help you carry over into the ring when you're punching somebody in the ring. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to Palak Boxing, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and drop a comment down below.